This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Michelle has a wonderful segment this morning. You know, she used to be the director of the Little House um, Museum here in Kansas, and she's going to talk about how Christmas was celebrated at the Little House on the Prairie. And in honor of you, Michelle, I wore my sparkles this morning. I thought these baubles were especially sparkly this morning. And Michelle always has something pretty and sparkly on. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Deb. I cannot believe December is already here. This month, I'm going to be looking at Christmas traditions. And what a better way to start than looking at Christmas Little House on the Prairie style. Christmas evokes memories of time spent with family and friends, glistening decorations, trimmed trees, and Christmas caroling. Have you ever wondered how our Kansas ancestors celebrated Christmas? One of Kansas's most famous residents was Laura Ingalls Wilder. Even though her family's time in Kansas was brief, life in their little house on the Kansas prairie left a lasting imprint on Laura. Christmas is one of Laura's most vivid memories from her time in Kansas. One Christmas in particular, Mary and Laura feared that Santa Claus would not be able to find them in Kansas and that he could not travel at all because there was no snow and the nearby creek was roaring and high. To make matters worse, the girls also worried that their friend Mr. Edwards would not be able to spend Christmas with them because he could not cross the creek. Pa hunted and brought home a turkey. Ma prepared the turkey, and the Ingalls settled in for Christmas Eve. Ma hung their stockings on the mantel. Mary and Laura worried that when morning came, there would be no Christmas. When morning came, the girls were surprised to hear the voice of their good friend, Mr. Edwards, at the door. Mr. Edwards braved the fast, high waters of the creek to be with the Ingalls and bring Christmas to the girls. While in Independence, Mr. Edwards met Santa Claus himself. Since Santa's reindeer could not cross the creek, Mr. Edwards volunteered to bring the presents back to Mary and Laura. Ma put the gifts in their stockings while Mr. Edwards told Mary and Laura how he met Santa. The girls could not contain their excitement. They asked so many questions and hung on Mr. Edwards's every word. Finally, they dug into their stockings to discover they each received a new tin cup, a peppermint stick, a heart-shaped cake sprinkled with white sugar, and a shiny new penny. Just when they thought the gift-giving was done, Mr. Edwards pulled out sweet potatoes from his pockets for the Ingalls' Christmas dinner. Christmas, Mr. Edwards, and Santa Claus found the Ingalls after all. I hope you enjoyed today's segment and that you'll join me next time for another historical adventure somewhere around Kansas. Wonderful to start December with you and again we had our month of gratitude last month but let's just continue to be grateful okay. Grateful for each and every one of you. I'm Deb Goodrich and I'll see you somewhere around Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. ValleyVet.com is your one-stop shop for your every animal need. From prescription meds, vaccines, equipment, and more for the ranch to the show ring, shop ValleyVet.com for fast shipping and great prices. Valley Vet to the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center right here in my hometown of Oakley, Kansas. We're the front door of Western Kansas, located on three main highways, I-70, US-83, and US-40. And all those roads lead to history, beautiful scenery, and adventure, no matter which direction you go. We now have an IHOP. That brand that you've trusted up and down the road in all your travels is staffed with local folks, real people, just like you and me, and we're waiting on you to join us. So for fun, adventure, 
fuel up, fuel your body, and let's have some fun. Sure Crop Fertilizers was started by my father, Don Sherman, and my mother, Shirley Sherman. Family business has started in the 80s. We predominantly focus on plant nutrients and what we can do to give growers better responses for with the fertilizer dollars that they do and what we can do to you know, make those things work better for the grower. We're based out of Seneca, Kansas. We work with growers in their soil analysis to figure out what they need, and then we can put those in a blend that gives them the best results and so that we can deliver that direct to their farm so that they have those nutrients where they need them, when they need them, and so that they can apply them in a manner that's, that's very efficient to them and, and works well on their planting systems and what they're doing. Sure Crop Fertilizers has been around for a long time. We always say we're, we're big enough to take care of everything you need, but yeah, we're small enough to do it quickly. You can get a hold of us at 1-800-635-4743. Um, our website is surecropfertilizers.com. And you can always email me at corey at surecropfertilizers.com. And with any questions you have, we'd be glad to answer and work with you.